the fifth section of chapter three flows in networks one and this section is the maximum flow minimum cut theorem so what this theorem allows us to do is to prove that a flow is a maximum um, and this is called the maximum flow minimum cut theorem or max flow min cut for short and the way this theorem works is that the value of the maximum flow is equal to the minimum cut putting that another way if we can find a minimum cut then um, that equals the flow and that proves that this flow is a maximum so i'll just say that again if we can find a minimum cut that equals the flow this proves that this flow is a maximum flow so how do we find a minimum cut well we need to find a cut that passes through a saturated arc that's an arc that goes in a direction from s to t from source to sink and or or an empty arc from t to s from sink to source if we find a cut that passes through these then we found a minimum cut and if that minimum cut equals the flow then that means that the flow that we have is a maximum example 11 the diagram shows a capacitated directed network and a flow of 38 passing through the same network use the maximum flow minimum cut theorem to prove that this flow is maximal so the first thing we need to do is to identify the cuts or sorry the arcs which are either saturated or have a flow of zero so that's saturated there um, anywhere the capacity equals the flow so i can see all of these arcs here are saturated i have no arcs with zero flow so i've marked those on the diagram here uh, the saturated um, arcs and what I'm looking for is a cut that passes just through saturated arcs which go from s to t which all of these do or zero arcs which go from t to s and I don't have any of those now it doesn't need to pass through all of them but it can only pass through saturated cuts now I could draw a cut here that passes through these arcs and that cut will just be passing through arcs which are saturated which is fine now it doesn't have to go through this one so it doesn't need to go through all of the saturated cuts but it can only go through saturated cuts or those zero cuts which again the other way so i can see that my um minimum cut let's write this down the minimum cut is equal to 8 plus 10 plus 9 plus 11 and that gives me a value of 38 now that means that the maximum flow will be equal to 38 so that proves that 38 is in fact a um, maximum flow but in maths whenever we use a rule or some sort of theorem we need to state that that's the theorem that we're using so we'd write something like something like this down so by the maximum flow or max flow min cut theorem 38 is the maximum flow example 12 figure one shows a capacitated directed network this figure one up here figure two shows a flow of 17 passing through the same network so here's our flow diagram capacity network at the top use the maximum flow minimum cut theorem to prove that the flow is maximal so we want to prove that a flow of 17 is maximal so the first step is to identify which of the arcs are saturated so i've got an eight here and here so that tells me that uh, this arc here that's saturated uh, what other ones do i have 
that are the same. Um, oh, three and three here. So these are both three. So this is saturated. I think in the book this has seven. I changed it to three. So seven would be incorrect. It was taken from a previous example. So that this should be saturated here. So I can mark this one down to three, arc DC, and I can see one more saturated arc and that is dt so let's mark that as saturated right so if we were to try and draw a cut um, the problem is is this arc here because we haven't uh, this one is not saturated that actually says zero now i don't know if you remember but when we were doing cuts let's say i've got a cut in the network we talked about thinking about pipes being cut and a puddle here and the ones that flow into the puddle are the ones that get added to the value of the cut and those arcs which flow out of the cut don't contribute to the value of the flow. So actually, if I were to draw uh, an, a cut here going across the zero, can you see that this is flowing out of the cut? It'd be like out of the puddle. If you were to draw a puddle, it would be like over here. So the pipes flowing into it are the uh, arc SA, so that's eight um, arc. DC which is 3 and arc DT which is 6 but arc AD is flowing out of the cut that doesn't contribute anything and actually you could think of it as well if these are water pipes and you cut this water pipe here okay water is going to flow in from this cut pipe but there's actually going to be nothing flowing out of this because it's been cut so maybe that might help you understand why this doesn't contribute anything to this cut so we can say that since arcs S, A, D, C and D, T flow into the cut, so they contribute 8 plus 3 plus 6, which is 17. So they contribute that to the, the value of the minimum cut. Arc A, D, this one here, flows out of uh, the cut. So contributes 0, nothing to the cut. Not because it's actually got the number 0 on it, but because it flows out of the cut. So by the max flow minimum cut theorem, 17 is the maximum flow. Or you could say that the flow of 17 is maximal. Example 13. This is the network used in example 10. And you'll see it'll be useful in a moment because we're not going to go through the whole uh, finding the, the maximum flow algorithm to find it. We're just going to use the result from example 10. I'll probably put like a little link up in the corner to that video. The diagram shows the capacitated directed no network and flow through the same network. Use the maximum flow minimum cut theorem to prove that the flow is maximal. So from that example, what we found was that the flow is 72. Here are my saturated arcs. So I'm going to mark them on this larger diagram at the bottom here. So uh, these are marked on the diagram now. And now what we're going to do is try to find a minimum cut that passes through these saturated arcs. Now, it may be that there may be more than one answer for this. So let's try here. So we can go through these arcs. They're all going to be saturated. So I'm going to put both down. You'll just need uh, one or the other. OK, so there's a, a cut there. We'll call this cut C1. And we'll write down the value of cut C1 is equal to 11 plus 5 plus 31 plus 25. Always check that all of those arcs are flowing into the cut, which they are. And that gives us a value of 72. As I said, there's actually another um, cut I can find which is 
going through these arcs and I'll call this cut C2. So you can have one or the other. I've just happened to find both. So an alternative might be uh, the value of cut C2 is equal to 15 plus 10 plus 22 plus 25 and all, all of those are flowing into the cut and as expected it has a value of 72 so we can say so by the min cut sorry max flow min cut theorem um, the flow of 72 which we worked out from that previous example is maximal so we should now be able to do exercise 3e on pages 102 to 103 of the textbook